Yo guys, Jaws here, and uh, you guys remember this jump scare, you know, back, I think like 2018, 2019, everyone's like, oh, you remember that uh, music video, and then you see like a jump scare through the painting? Well, that is a real jump scare, it's just, just kind of like the doppelganger jump scare, it's not really known how to really trigger it properly, like yeah, there's a few videos, and when I say few, I like looked... Literally for like an hour, hour and a half, and I could only find the Greg FPS actually showed himself getting it. The DK Dynamite also got it. Now, unfortunately, Glitching Queen actually never ended up getting the jump scare to actually happen. Now, believe it or not, those are the only three videos I could actually find on the topic, and only two of them could show the jump scare, meaning that this jump scare was kind of, eh, it's kind of elusive, not really... 100% known trigger or how to consecutively get this so yeah li like the usual uh, this is like kind of scripted kind of not so basically we kind of thought that oh yeah maybe aiming would trigger the jump scare unfortunately aiming actually does not trigger the jump scare because you don't need to aim the weapons don't actually matter like at I thought it had to be the uh, Alistair's Annihilator or Chaos Theory or one of those three variants. The normal upgrade and then double upgraded. It doesn't matter the weapon you have actually because we did multiple tests and yeah it, it doesn't matter the weapon you have. The other thing that we noticed is we noticed that only the closest player will see the jump scare as here I'm showing the clips and yes these clips are recorded on my Xbox because there is still only one thing that remains about this uh, jump scare that's inconsistent we'll get to the end of that you have to trigger the first jump scare and I mean first jump scare I mean the crystal jump scare because we did we tested everything that worked but not triggering that jump scare and nothing worked but after we triggered the jump scare then <laughs> there you go so you just have to trigger this jump scare and then after that pretty much just stand idle not move, don't aim, just make sure your crosshairs are on the uh, painting and uh, eventually you'll get the jump scare. And also another thing was that the perks, it doesn't matter what perks you have either because we tested that too. Unlike the uh, other, you know, the other photo jump scares, this jump scare can be triggered multiple times in the same game. And we got it to happen about 14, 15 times in the final game where we were really able to consistently get it to happen over and over and over again. So pretty much to get this trigger, just like, you know, start the normal game, activate Sentinel Artifact, open up stuff, open the Pack-a-Punch. There's videos online showing the Pack-a-Punch, but, you know, there's those crystals in three locations. Well, there's three locations within those three locations where the crystals, you fill it, do the three different tasks. And then after you open the Pack-a-Punch, you just keep looking into the crystal it actually doesn't matter what crystal you look into you could go back and forth looking in the same one eventually you'll get you know this jump scare and then once you get that jump scare have your friend distract the zombie stand idle and boom jump scare the reason why that greg fps i think was using the uh alistair's annihilator is because obviously you got to cover yourself when you're doing the solo the only thing that still seems to be inconsistent so you did everything i said the only inconsistency is that all like 15, 20 times we got the jump scares to happen, they were all within like 30 seconds to about seven and a half minutes. That's the last factor that is just an inconsistency of the timing of when this jump scare actually happens, which I'm assuming it's RNG based, meaning that it randomly chooses a time and is like, all right, this will trigger in about six minutes as long as you just have your crosshairs, which I'm assuming all the times we got the jump scares to happen, our crosshairs were on the poster now moving i would still say maybe moving doesn't matter but as long as you have the crosshairs on the poster and you're looking at it you still should be able to get it to trigger but sitting idle is easier to happen there i'm really shocked that we got it back to back 
30 seconds. I, I it's crazy. I cannot believe that uh, we actually finally figured this out to consistently. That was the thing that was bugging me about this. It was so inconsistent. Like we never got it to happen. And then once we triggered that first jump scare, we were consistently getting it to happen over and over and over. And we debunked everything else. Like I said, like the final doppelganger jump scare uh, step. The very last step is very inconsistent. But as long as you just sit there idle aiming, you'll get the jump scare and you'll actually get it back to back. But since the zombies do die after about four or five minutes, the zombies will die and the round will start. Finally, I can put this final thing to rest that we finally made my friend figure this out. So that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, I'm out of breath. You can see uh, I'm not. Uh, that, uh, that shows I'm not. Uh, Got to do my co uh, cardio. And yeah, so that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. And just like always, how about pies? Yeah, uh, not exactly sure what everyone's still doing here. The video's over. It's done. This is like the outro because there's nothing else to see. It's over. It's done. So everybody can now switch off to another uh, video.